What's up, YouTube? It's your boy RBR. Welcome back to the channel. This is a channel where I talk about all things reef tank related. So if that's the type of thing you like to talk about, that's the type of thing you like to watch on YouTube, make sure you leave your boy a subscribe and a like, and make sure you hit that notification button to stay up to date with everything I got going on. In this video, I'm gonna talk about seven things that I think is, is very important to have a successful reef tank because we all want to be effective reefers, not inappropriate reefers. Well, I could use some of inappropriate reefer income though. I ain't gonna lie about that one. There are things that I have personally figured out on my own to having a successful reef tank. So I, I plan on sharing these things with you. That way you can understand where I'm coming from and you, you won't have to run in, at, into as many problems as I did, you feel me? So number seven, uh, take it slow. Reefing is something that's, uh, that you need to take your time with. Uh, don't don't rush anything going in this hobby everything takes time to grow in this hobby uh you might want them co uh, corals to burst with the explosion of growth but it really doesn't happen that way in this hobby everything takes its time and the longer that you you know leave a coral there and, and don't touch the coral the better off that coral will be i noticed constantly moving my zoles around once i first bought them it slowed the growth of my, my Zoe colonies and they, they just didn't like the fact that I was moving around every few days. So I'm a firm believer that, you know, once you leave a coral there and leave it in this spot, it, it, it tends to like it better. It tends to adjust to life inside your tank. So just find a spot that you're gonna put that coral in and leave it there and just see what, see what happens. Another thing that I have learned while being in this hobby uh, for eight, nine months now is do not add too many fish at one time. When I first got my first tank, I was so excited that I added too many fish at one time that it actually cost another cycle, a mini cycle to happen. And uh, it, can, it, can, it can be very painful for your system to go through another cycle after just cycling. So I'll say add a fish every month, but don't add too many fishes. Start off with soft corals. Yo, soft corals are so much more easier to take care of and I'm not just talking about zoanthids. Well, I'm talking about like uh, mushroom leather corals, uh, mushrooms in general. Start off with those. Like they actually are pretty easy to take care of. Not a, not a lot of demand. And, and work your way up to you know a hammer or a frog spine. And then just 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 look at it like levels in Pokemon. We all started at, you know, level one, then we worked our way. We got our we got our Pokemon up to level 50. So it's kind of like Pokemon. So you take your time. Nothing in life happens fast. <laughs> it's funny how everything I say, you know, take your time. But be honest, man, that's, 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 the, that's the lesson learned when you're doing reefing. It, it's, it's all about time. When I think about stuff like this, it makes me remember my first uh, Cyphastria that I put in the tank. And that thing died within two weeks because I was, you know, I was rushing. Like, I bought it at the same time I bought my first Zoe. So, if you know, you know, like, hey, just take your time. Pick fish that has a purpose. Like, we all have our favorite fish out there, like a clownfish or a tang. But they all, you know, they all serve a you know, different purpose. You have your utility fish and then you have your show fish. A clownfish is considered a show fish to me. Whereas a rats or a tang is considered a utility fish. Why do you want utility fish? Well, that's that's simple. You want you want a fish that's actually gonna do a job in your tank. He's basically an employee in your tank. Uh, the rats, he's gonna get at it after those flat worms and any other type of invasive species that's trying to sneak his way through your tank. Whereas a a tang is gonna get after the algae. And then there's other fish out there to take care of tang. I mean, algae and stuff too. So yeah, just pick fish that, you know, that's gonna do a job for your tank. And it doesn't matter, you know, you can get a clownfish or two too, get a couple show fish. The more fish you have in your tank that's, you know, does a job, the better success you will have in this hobby. Now this one right here pertains if you have a sand bed or not in your tank. Some folks don't have sand beds, but to me, the most slept on creature in your tank has to be 
a fighting cunt. Like, dude, my sand bed is usually always clean because of my cunts. He, he's aerating the sand. He's always going through. He's he's digging in the sand. He's hiding himself in the sand. Everything this this snail does is is in the sand. So I don't I don't understand why not. You know, I can't I can't for now I can't see myself going. If I have a sand bed in my tank, going without a cunch in my tank to keep that sand bed nice and pristine. So do yourself a favor. If you got a sand bed, go out and get you a strawberry cunch or a fighting cunch. And hey, come back to the channel and thank me. Thank me, because I told you, I got you. Do not, and I repeat, do not overfeed your corals. It would cause nuisance algae. And not only that, high nitrates and high phosphates. High nitrates and high phosphates can cause havoc on your corals in your tank. It might not bother your fish as much, but the corals, yo, it can really do some damage to your corals. Just ask me, I know. Matter of fact, I have a video on it, and I'll post that video somewhere around here. But yeah, you have to watch out for the high, high phosphates. Like, yo, they, they can really do your tank so hard. I lost about two corals from it. And really, I just got lucky, like, cause it, it should have been worse. Cause I was doing, I, I was feeding way too much. I was overdoing the feeding. Cause you know, you you read about things where you know people feed their tank all this, all that, and then you try to do the same thing. You try to replicate the same thing they're doing on their tank. It just doesn't work out. So feed your corals less. Feed, you can feed them, feed them once or twice a week, and they probably be fine. Especially if you got a nano tank. Now, if you got a bigger tank, I can see you feeding a little bit more, but nano, just once or twice a week, maybe three times, and call it a day. Do a 10% water change weekly. If you ain't gonna do 10% weekly, do 20% 20, 20 every two weeks. Yeah, it'll work just out. It'll work fine. Like, water change, a water change is like your get out of jail free card. Like, if you know you messed up, you've been overfeed, just just do your do yourself some justice. Go ahead and do a water change, cause it's gonna get ugly. It's gonna get ugly fast. So do your water change. It really helps your tank out. It restores all the elements, all the all the calcium, all the alkalinity, all the magnesium you need back in your tank. It restores all of that. And your coral is gonna thank you for it. So do your water changes, and that's it. Everybody want to retain, but nobody want to put it in the work. Now, if you're still watching at this point, that means you're a super fan. And I just want to tell you, I thank you for watching my videos and watching all my videos. And I'm letting you know right now uh, that you know I'm gonna start picking out you know the best comments of the week. I'm gonna pick these comments out, and I'm gonna give you a shout out on my next video. And I'm also gonna subscribe to your page. So make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video. And now let's get to the number one tip I got for you. And that is to keep reefing. All right, so reefing is a hobby. It's supposed to be fun. If you're not having fun reefing because you, 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 you're dealing with some nuisance algae or some kind of flatworm outbreak, ask somebody to help you. Ask, go to your local fish store. You can come on this page and comment. I always comment back to everybody. What you having problems with? And I'll try my best to help you. You can follow me on Instagram and message me on Instagram, uh, Random Black Reefer. Message me and we can try to figure something out. I'll try to help you figure something out with your, your problems you're having with your reef tank. And we, maybe we can connect on you, uh, you know, a personal level. So, hey, a friend level, not personal, guys. I'm sorry, we ain't that close. But, <laughs> but hey. Yeah, keep reefing. Don't don't give up on something. I see so many folks get in this hobby and get burnt out because they don't feel like I don't know doing a water change or something. It, it could be something so simple that can fix your problem in your reef tank. Now you talking about like Aptasia or dude? We can figure that stuff out. There's there's actually peppermint shrimps. They can eat Aptasia. Now some of them can nip pick on some of your corals too, but if they do their job and they get their taste out, dude, I I found out how to I found out how to catch peppermint shrimps. Like they're so they're so easy to catch because all you gotta do is and I had to show a video on that. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna spoil it, but yeah, dude, just hit me up. Like if you got any problems, don't quit on the hobby. 
keep reefing. It's only going to get better. If you quit right now, you will never know what was on the other side of that door. As a matter of fact, if you knew what was on the other side of that door, you would never quit. So that's my two cents. Hey, y'all keep reefing. And like I said, stay safe. Hey, make sure y'all watch the last video I posted. Make sure y'all subscribe. I finally made over the 500 subscribers. So just get your boy on to a thousand before the end of December, please. Let's go. Let's get it. Y'all be safe. God bless.